Okay, hello everyone. My name is Abdullah Wan, and I am doing Bachelor's in Data Science from Pass National University, Lahore, which is in Pakistan. And I am the student ambassador for Microsoft as well in my university. And I am the founder of that community in my university. So moving on to towards the topic, which we are going to discuss today is basically empowering data-driven innovation, a journey through real world applications. Now, basically the question arrived in everyone's mind is what data is. So basically data is the statistics and facts on which your daily life process is being based on the activities you perform daily and all that activities. And now what basically is data science? Basically data science is the study in which we use technology, AI, machine learning, deep learning, and different technologies with the things of data so that we can integrate with that and we can create some new things which can help us improve our daily life processes. For example, nowadays, as you all can see that chat GPT, BART, perplexity, all these AI tools are helping people to do different kind of tasks. For example, you can make slides from an AI tools as well. So yeah, these all are through the advancements in AI technology using different kind of data. And yeah, for that data is a very basic tool which is required to advance in such kind of investment as well. Now moving on to the introduction. So basically what is data driven innovation? So data driven innovation is basically when we utilize all the data which we have to drive decision making and for some kind of innovation. For example, in business, we can use data to kind to do some different kind of analysis on our data on our clients, like what kind of clients are we going to have in future or what kind of clients we currently have and what kind of products are we selling at our best. So yeah, these kind of ideas, this kind of innovation and decisions are being made using the previous data in the past, which we have been stored on different kind of databases and all that. Now, what is being the significance of data driven approaches? Now, it is very important nowadays because data is helping us to predict the future as well. For example, in weather, we predict through the different kind of data from the past. So yeah, data is the key aspect nowadays whole websites whole applications and many further things are working on data your different applications are being worked on different kind of huge amount of data so yeah it's a basic step which is required to move nowadays now moving on to the medical field how data is helping us can help us to indeed create with the AI or machine learning algorithms to move on in the medical field. Now, how we can revolutionize healthcare with data. Basically, we can do predictive analysis in healthcare. This is what we can use past data of the patients or some other aspects of the patient, which can help us predict their future outcomes, like how they are going to receive different kinds of diseases and how they are going to act for that as well. For example, if we would know about the COVID now, so we can predict that how that kind of pandemic would come in future or what we can do, or what kind of precautionary measures we could take to we avoid that kind of major pandemic measures as well. So what we can do is we can also forecast patient outcome for resource allocation is what we can see from the data that how many patients or how many people are in that specific area and we can design different kind of algorithms that would Tell us about the result that if any kind of pandemic, such a pandemic happens again, we can allocate some amount of people to that hospital, some amount of people to that other hospital and all that. So that it will help us divide all the workload on different hospitals as well. So yeah, we can take care of that pandemic gradually. Now, what can be some, some kind of examples as I discussed, hospitals can use predictive models for patient admissions. For example, when a patient comes in, if we have his past data in all the database so that our hospital can easily connect with that and can access that data and will come to know that what kind of patients background is what kind of disease you already have what kind of doctors would he require so yeah our hospital can easily be predictive about that patient as well so that he can guide them where they have to go now tailoring treatment with data 
that again also help us do treatment for example if i am ill and i have done some blood tests as well for now i have got the reports but now at that time i need a specialist or someone else or doctor to see and analyze the reports because i myself cannot analyze that report that perfectly as a doctor can do so what ai can do is using the data that we can transform a machine learning model which can simply analyze the report and tell me the specs that what i could cover and what i can do is that tell me telling me different kind of specs of the report for example if i am having high blood pressure high sugar level or i am having low platelets and all that so yeah data can help me do that as well now based it can also help treatments based on individual patient characteristics for example if a patient have different kind of diseases what data based ml model can do is it can help you tailor different kind of solutions for that person so that it can help them to predict their future outcomes of their diseases what they can cause or what kind of things they could utilize and can cause their kind of diseases as well now beyond the hospital walls obviously some of the people can not visit the hospital all the time it's all about the rushy times and all that so what we can do is we can make different kind of monitoring devices that will be based on total on data and we will train them on the previous data so that it can be doing perfect analysis for it because it's important that the model have 99% or 99% plus precision or accuracy in it models because in healthcare we cannot take any kind of risk because it's all about the life so yeah it should be perfectly accurate so what we can do is we can guide different kind of machine learning models so that it can help us explain monitoring different kind of patients from their home and they can basically buzz alarm when they are in the kind of emergency or anything else for example if you are getting to some if you are having going to market and you got something to eat or something else so they have mentioned any kind of ingredients what they have what we can do is we can make a scanner which will scan the ingredients and that application will show you the results that is it good for you can you consume it or not so yeah we can do that as well on the basis of data now moving on to the agriculture field we know that agriculture is one of the most important field or things which most of the countries knew knew that they can earn from it as well so in agriculture field how we can use data is we can do precision about the agriculture for example in a specific area we can get to know about how much fertile that soil is by training different kind of models by putting different kind of drones around that area now many people think that farmers are not that illiterate or they cannot get to know about that kind of models applications drone system and all that but yeah what we can do is we can provide them with the data consultancy firms with the data consultancy people who will provide them and guide them on a daily basis and what we can do is we can build different kind of models different kind of products based on the data which can help us analyze the soil weather effects and different kind of insects that attacks on the crops for example locust which attacks on the crops on a huge amount and which can destroy the crops in a very less time so what we can do is we can plant different kind of drones different kind of cameras that would detect if what kind of diseases that plants are going to have what kind of soil is, is it is and what are the basic requirements that that area need for example how much water is it required for that soil or anything else now protecting the harvest as i said crop diseases which can be detected using different data driven approaches and also the early detection of proactive measures to protect crops for example if there is any kind of disease this is, that is going to approach your crops we can do its early detection so that we can take any proactive measures to protect our crops and for that we can use machine learning algorithms for disease detection in crops now from farm to table supply chain efficiency now what we can do is basically we can create some other models which will monitor all our supply chain for example moving from agriculture to the person who takes that crop into the market we can analyze all that during the data that how much sales that area specifically gives how much data or how much crops 
is being sold by that specific farmer that can help you optimize your transportation routes to reduce your food wastage and every other fuel cost and all that so that it would become very efficient for every kind of farmer to afford it now what's basically it's about retail industry as you know that retail industry is also a crucial part of our life as we do take different kind of our items from our daily life as well now what we can do is we can decode consumer behavior for example on the basis of our data we can create a machine learning models or different kind of softwares that will tell us about the customer segmentation and target marketing for example if a customer is buying that product with another product as well so our model will predict this and tell us that you have to put that those products all together so that everyone can buy it and you can get more sale and now what about targeted marketing a data driven approach can help us know that what is our target marketing like what is our targeting people or consumers that like how we are going to target them the customers which are going to buy our products like what are our strategies to follow up so that we can get more sales daily basis for example we get to know and interact with different marketing agencies for our products to get some sales but what we can do is simply train different kind of machine learning algorithms on the basis of data so that there is no need for marketing agencies and we can simply move smoother with such kind of small machine learning algorithms for example analyzing purchase history and demographics for targeted promotions now what is optimizing retail operations we can do inventory management in retail using machine learning algorithms on the basis of data for example how many products were sale last year in that specific month and in specific season because there are many products which are seasonal and which are occasional for example on halloween we take to buy we used to buy some halloween mask and all that so our model will predict that you should buy this inventory for this month specifically so, we, so that we are not short of the inventory at that time of the sale so for example forecasting demand to prevent stock out and overstake situations so that we will not get out of the stock at the time of our peak season now in finance structure for, for every section we the finance is very important because everything is related to finance and what we do is related to money obviously if a person is doing agriculture or something it is for some simply for earning something if a person is in healthcare sector or a doctor he is simply earning for his family or anything else so finance sector is also a major growing in all over the world so what we can do is we can differently use data to safeguard our transactions for example we can build a fraud detection in the finance sector that can help us detect fraud on the basis of the past for example what are the transactions history of that customer how is its trends or what we can do is we can simply bug out the anomaly that how that person is differently doing transactions that it can help us detect any kind of fraud that is going to happen in future or that is going to harm your whole institution or your organization we can use for that we can different utilize machine learning for anomaly detection for example real time monitoring of transaction patterns to detect fraudulent activities now writing the data wave we can do algorithmic trading using data driven strategies for example as we don't know about the stock as much as a person knows who is daily or whose daily work is to deal with the stock as well now what we can do is we can take the huge amount of data from the past and we can learn different kind of machine learning algorithms which will guide us about the riding waves of the algorithmic trading of the data driven strategies which will help us introduce about the stock exchange and market details of daily life schedules so that no one can get harm about the stocks for example if a person is investing in stock and he wants to predict that how it's going to end up he will simply do it through that software which we will be running through our machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms based on the data so it would help him predict in future that this is stock is going to be in loss or it will provide you a profit for example high frequency trading algorithms for rapid decision making now what are some key benefits of data driven innovation basically we can use efficiency we can increase efficiency in any kind of work for example nowadays if there were not chat gpt for example or bard any ai tools 
what you people do is you sim simply go and think about the errors or the bugs which you get into codes or anything else but nowadays what everyone is doing is they are simply using this, those ai tools to spot those bugs or errors and what they get is they get their answer and results in few seconds this is all about using your data and training different kind of machine learning algorithms and integrating with ai technologies now what we do is cost saving we can optimize operations and reducing wastage for example in agriculture sector we can train different kind of models which will tell us about the route that is efficient for us which will see that which kind of area is to be targeted for sending that crop so that we can only send that specific amount of crop at one time to that area so that it can help us optimize the cost of the fuel and all that other stuff which would help farmer grow their profit at a very huge rate now what about improved decision making we can also make different kind of informed decisions based on data insights for example what data analysts do is it do decision make decisions for the different kind of organization on the basis of data for example what are their past trends what are their future trends what are what their company are going to do in the future and what their clients are going to buy from them in the future so what we can do is we can make informed decision based on our data insights for example if i am having a market if i am having a retail store of different kind of products now if i am having data of past 5 or 6 years i would come to know easily that in this month my most of the customers will get buy this kind of stuff most of the customers will buy this kind of stuff and in specific season i would come to know that most of the customers will buy this kind of product for example in before christmas eve they would buy some gift wraps and all that so yeah i would do and stock such kind of products which will help me grow my business so what we can do is we can improve our decision making using data of our past now future trends now basically data is already helping us to direct our futures what we are going to do in future for example in weather we can simply direct what kind of weather is going to be in the future we can simply forecast what it is going to be in the future in stocks many of the agencies are doing future prediction about the stock that it will go up or it will go down it will have a bull run or anything else it's all because of ai and the base of data because they do have data of the past 10 20 years obviously so what they do is they train their models they see that how this going to be affect how that kind of disease or the how can that kind of affect any weather effect or anything else can affect that kind of stock so all they know is due to the past amount of data they already have so what is data is doing is it is helping us predicting our future we are making different kind of ai models and different kind of other machine learning models which are helping us in the daily life processes for example in blockchain we can utilize blockchain technology for data security and transparency so that's all about how data can help us drive our innovation and we can simply go through make our life easy in different kind of sectors for example in education sector in hospitals in agriculture sectors in different medical sectors it's all about simply based on data like how we utilize data so yeah basically we should store our data it's the main step we should have data consultancy firm from where we can take data where we can get data where all the data is being assembled in a proper way and all that data could be utilized to make different kind of models different kind of software different kind of algorithm different kind of ai tools which would help us make our life easy thank you so much for your time everyone